Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So today I wanted to have a discussion about Cinder and Neo's team up, discussing both Cinder and Neo, the direction this could take their characters, and how well this team up could actually work for the two of them, and I really want to go into this a little bit. So sit back, relax, I hope you all enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. So, within Chapter 7, we know that Cinder and Neo have officially teamed up. Now, while to some people this is a good idea, as to others, some people don't like this idea. I am more on the side that I really do actually like this idea for several reasons, but when looking at it, I want to really talk about Cinder and Neo and where this plan could actually get them in the future. So, let's take a look at Cinder first. So... When looking at Cinder, at the end of Volume 3, during the finale, we do know that Ruby Silver Eye is activated, leaving Cinder scarred with damage to her body, with Cinder losing her arm and her eye being damaged, forever leaving a scar on her body as a reminder of what Ruby once did to her. And while that's not the only damage she took, she took a loss from Raven as well at the end of Volume 5. So while looking at Cinder's character, it makes sense that she would want to get revenge on Ruby, but at the same time, her biggest problem that happened within Volume 5 was she was so revenge set that it really made her lose sight of her goal for the most part until they slowly transitioned Cinder back to being the way she used to be from Volumes 1 through 3 and tried to strategically plan around things and get the relic as her whole goal was meant to be originally. And while the whole revenge idea of Ruby, it does make sense, this doesn't need to be her priority, but this could be something kind of more as a minor goal, like a secondary kind of goal to achieve. And with having Neo be able to team up with her, I think that this allows her to stay upon the lines of what Salem has asked of Cinder to do and to retrieve the relic, while this could allow Cinder to plan with Neo on how to eliminate Ruby, because while we do know that Cinder has been told by Salem, because Salem said that she did not want Ruby to be killed when she asked Tyrion to go capture Ruby, we do know that Cinder, not directly killing Ruby, but planning with someone else, aka Neo, to kill Ruby, it wouldn't be, oh look, she directly did it herself, and yes, you could say, well, she could put the blame on Neo at that point, and there is that, but at the same time, this does actually help with the goal of eliminating Ruby. While at the same time, having Neo take care of that task, this could allow Cinder herself to stay upon the goal that Salem has set to her. And I like that idea because this doesn't make Cinder just completely driven to have nothing more than revenge. And this can make her have more of a plot and explore more of her character and as to why she is actually teamed up with Salem. At the same time as we have Cinder doing this, having Neo actually team up with Cinder, in which she has done in the past, it's good to be able to explore Neo's character as well, given the fact that Neo has her own plot for revenge. It's not just Cinder who wants revenge, it is also Neo. And so, let's take a look at Neo for a moment, because she is also very important to this plan, considering that, you know, they teamed up. So when we look at Neo, Neo herself had Roman Torchwick. That was her world. That was the one person to her that was important, that was special. And losing him, it really has hurt Neo. Now, I've gone into a video in the past talking about how it's important that Neo comes back into the story and that this would actually be the proper way to do it, is her seeking revenge for the death of Roman Torchwick. And it makes sense that she would return into the series, despite what some people may think, she still has a role to play. And we also do not know her backstory, just like with Cinder, and this is a way to actually go into the whole how Neo met Torchwick. And this is definitely a good way to really explain this and explore her character more, where she even came from. It has a lot of merit going for it if they actually do this right. And when you look at Neo, she has been a wild card character. She's been someone to really kind of be able to do her own thing, but at the same time, also a character that has listened to orders very well. And at the same time, 
while some people do have problems with this pair up between Neo and Cinder, you have to remember that Neo did work with Cinder at one time, that they were actually a team. If you go back to Volume 3, she did listen to Cinder, and she did it very well. So, Neo actually siding with Cinder is not one bit of a surprise to me, but at the same time, it very well makes sense, because Neo herself very closely worked with Cinder, just as Roman did. So, to see Neo come back, this is a good way to throw her into the plot, not only through just the aspect of her wanting revenge for the death of Roman, but this can also work on the dynamic of the relationship between Cinder and Neo. So this could really develop that. At the same time, what this could also do is Neo may actually even betray Cinder. Now, am I saying that's going to happen? No. Am I also saying it's not going to happen? Yet again, no. But there could be a possible chance that Neo could betray Cinder because when she fights Ruby again, which obviously is being led up to that, what we could actually see is Ruby could reveal the truth, since Neo was not present when Roman actually died, so she doesn't even know how Roman specifically died. And also, now that Cinder has told Neo the truth on what she's fighting for, this could also give Neo another reason to actually fight, and she could fight for Cinder and the cause that she's fighting for Salem between the War of Salem and Osman, at the same time, she could also see another side of the story and get how Roman died from Ruby, and then that could also make her fight on that side too. There's so many possibilities, and then if you think about it, it really allows Neo to have flexibility in what she could do here on out, as well as this could go into her backstory too. It could really do a lot for Cinder and Neo because we may even see team combinations that we never would have guessed, just like with Roman and Neo when they fought Ruby, we saw some pretty good team combinations, and this may be able to happen again. While this is also another possibility, what they could do is, between Neo and Cinder, they could actually allow these two characters to help the audience, as well as one another, get to know each other's backstories more, get to flush them out as characters more this way, because with these two working together now, this gives them opportunity to have conversations, to really go into who they are, and I think that if this is written right, if this is written properly, this could actually be explored. And I think that's probably one of the biggest hopes that I have for this, that they could do, is while they're leading up to the planning of trying to eliminate Ruby, this could give the two of them a chance to get to know one another more on a personal level as to who they were in the past and what led them to where they are now. And this allows the audience to get to know this as well. And I think that would be a really good way to do that if it's written properly. And that's why I personally like this team up. But let me know what you think down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, hit the video with a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And share this with your friends if you found this informative or useful. Well, anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.